Hello, 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 my sassy soul sisters and friends. Oh, welcome back. Sassy here, and we have another unboxing for you today. And real quickly, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who's, um, you know, reached out to me over the past few weeks and everything. I appreciate you all so much. And I know I had said last week that the weekend I was going to get back to everybody in the emails, but your girl had a pretty crappy day <laughs> at work on Saturday. And I decided when I got out of work that I was just going to shut my phone off for the weekend because I just didn't want to deal. I just didn't want to deal, y'all. I just didn't want to do it. So I do apologize because usually when I say I'm going to do something, I do it and I feel horrible that I didn't do what I said I was going to do, but your girl needed it. I needed to just unplug and, you know, get my ish together. You know what I'm saying? So Saturday, me and the hubby, we went out and we, no, did we go outside? Of, yes, we did. So when I got out of work, I picked up the hubby from the studio he was at and we went out and had a great lunch and it was very nice and then we came home and just kind of relaxed and then on sunday we literally i made my corned beef and cabbage in my crock pot and then we just watched movies all day sat on the couch big lazy picking out you know and i needed it i really did so i do apologize i'll do my best to get to those emails this week um it is going to be a rough week though this is the week that the new owners are going to talk to us. Tomorrow, I believe I have a meeting after work and then my daughter has physical therapy and then Wednesday has something after work and Thursday, dentist. It's just like something to do every day. So I will get to those emails by the end of this week for sure. So if you sent me an email and you're just like, Stacy, why haven't you hit me up? That's why I just unplugged and I just, you know, I just needed some time with no electronics, <laughs> with, with nothing, just, you know. So yeah, that is that. So what we came here for today, we have an unboxing from my favorite Sugar Muses. This is the Midnight Muses Deluxe Box. And I wanna say a huge thank you to Christy and Dina because they actually gifted me this box. Um, I was just going through the emails because I was like, wait, I didn't pay for all my boxes last month. <laughs> when I was doing my um, checking, I'm still old school. I still write in the little book. Everything I do is old school. I don't believe in technology like that. I feel like something ever happened and it crashed. Like, what are you going to do if everything you do is online? What are you going to do? Like, I don't know. That's just my way of thinking. So I'm a wicked book and pen person. I, that's how I keep track of everything. So... Yeah, I had to go back and I did check my email and I was like, oh my God, she gifted this to me. I'm such an ass because <laughs> I never even replied back. So I apologize, Christy, if you're watching. I truly appreciate this. It couldn't have come at a better time, honestly. Um, so thank you. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you for everything. I mean, you are such a doll. I love all your boxes and I appreciate this so much. So thank you, thank you. And we're going to get right into it because that's enough of me yapping about, right? My nose is a little like weird, but I'm pretty sure that has something to do with allergies, which I don't mind because that means spring's coming, y'all. Like it's coming. I ain't going to lie. We had a beautiful weekend over here. No rain, even though I had to work on Saturday, but that's okay. There was no rain. Yesterday, no rain. It was a little chilly yesterday because... Earlier in the morning, I was like, wanted to go for a walk, and it was like, I think it rained a little bit, but not in crazy, but it was like cold yesterday. Then the sun came out, and then I was just too lazy to go for a walk after that. <laughs> it's like, I was like, mm, nah, not today. But it's beautiful out again today. I just got home from work, and I'm like, let's get back in action, okay? Because my poor couch is filled with boxes, and we got to get our ish together. It's been too long. Oh, beautiful. My favorite colors. Purple and black with the little shroomies. Look at that, buddy. He looks like he means business. Super cute. And what do we have here? Goddess of Spring. Yes, bring it. One of the eight festivals of the Wheel of the Year. Ostaru, which is tomorrow, my friends. I'm so excited. 
is named after the Scandinavian goddess of spring or by her Anglo-Saxon name Eosta, Esto, or Ostra. Both names connect with the Greek dawn goddess Eos. The word also provides the root of our modern word East, from which the sun rises. You might also notice the word Easter reflected in this goddess name. She is said to be goddess of fertility and the dawn. The first mention of her was in the 8th century, where pagans held a feast for her on the full moon. One legend tells of Esra finding a bird wounded on the ground late in the winter season. To save its life, she transformed it into a hare, but the transformation was not a complete one. The bird took the appearance of a hare, but retained the ability to lay eggs. The hare would then decorate these eggs and leave them as gifts to Esra. Other goddesses associated with spring are Persephone and Flora. So that's kind of the story I've heard, just a little bit different, um, that she was flying through the sky with her bird and um, he got wounded as he was flying and they came down, she was in her chariot and they came down and he hurt himself and I kind of guess it is, it's just not saying like she was flying in a chariot or whatever. And she changed him into a hare because he was so faithful and got her down safely. And then he started laying eggs for her as, you know, a thank you for saving his life and keeping him. Sorry guys, this thing is wobbly and I can't put it on my table because I'm gonna break it. So look how beautiful as always. She's just, with her packaging, you already know. Whoa, there's a big, there's a big thing in here this time. And she always, everything, her whole aesthetic, like, always matches. So this is our Midnight Muses Luxe box. And I have King of Pentacles. Oh, what did I get in the other one? I forgot. And I received it upright. I opened it upright. Wealth, business, leadership, security, discipline, abundance, prosperity, and generosity. So that's good. We have that as our oracle card and that's the back put that right back there and I see a beautiful purple candle right here trapped with all the thingies we have a beautiful lilac beeswax candle Ooh, kind of smells like perfume a little, a little berry-ish little berries so that's I don't know if she anointed it or if it's just because maybe something in here has that smell to it but we'll find out and then also on the side we have midnight bloom premium masala incense I'm like is it this that smells but no that candle smells different than this I'm not a fan of the smell. I don't know what it is. What does it say it was? Masala. Yeah, it's very strong. It's just not my jam. But my hubby likes these too, so I'll put that in his pile. I always give him the strong smelling ones that I can't like deal with. You love them. All right, so I have a little package over here. I'm just trying to see. We have flora ritual salts with orange blossom, tuberose, and sandalwood. Look at how cute this bag is. I don't know, the last salts, oh my god, they're my favorite of all time. Mmm, oh my god. These smell amazing too. Ooh, this month the bath salts are, they're right up my jam. I must be like the orange and the sandalwood. I don't know, sandalwood, it takes on different hints when it's mixed with something else and I love it. That's my refrigerator on cue. Don't worry guys, pretty soon we will be doing unboxes downstairs. Downstairs where it's at. White willow herb. We have some of that. White willow. It's a very light woodsy scent. It's it's very light. And it don't even really smell like like wood. Like I don't know how to explain it. But it's very light. For tea. And then oh get out. 
handmade planable paper skull. What? Ah, first of all, I don't know if you guys can see it because, but it is a skull. I don't know if you can see it right there. And it's a CD skull, handmade plantable for immediate level garden. Oh, intermediate. <laughs> Duh. Hello, says a mix of annual and perennial wild flower seeds. Soak skull in water overnight. Water prepare soil. Break skull apart. I gotta break it apart. Onto soil and sprinkle a little dirt on top. Mist with water regularly. Eventually you may need to weed out some of the seedlings or switch to a larger pot to prevent them from becoming too crowded. Oh, that is so cool. By Darling Homebody. This is such a, I love seeing this kind of thing. I'm shaking everywhere. This kind of thing in my spring boxes. This is super cute. It's like being reborn again with a skull. Oh, beautiful butterfly over here. She was on the corner of my package. I just want to make sure there's nothing else. Oh, there is my oil. And then I'll open up what's inside of here. And then the big thing. I forget. I think I already told you guys that though. I've been mixing her oils with my new perfume and they smell so, it just like brings it to a whole new level. I always put oil on every morning before I go to anywhere, work, whatever, because you know, you gotta protect yourself. And then I spray my aura sprays. All right, here we go. Oh, this is light. It's definitely like perfume. Oh, it smells good. It says flora, so I'm guessing, but it's not like overpowering. I hope I'm not getting sick because I can hardly smell. It is a light scent to me. It is like a light floral scent with something like sweet to it. Oh, I didn't even show you guys. Look how pretty that is. So pretty. All right, up next we have... And I apologize, I've, I've had these boxes here and I've been doing all my boxes late. And you guys know me, usually as soon as I get them and I walk through the door, I'm like already opening them. But I don't like opening things when I feel the way I've been feeling, but I feel better today, so I feel much better. Oh, well, we got some pretty little moss. Look how green that is. Oh, I love the springy moss. I'm a weirdo, I like, and it's still a little damp. I like the smell of moss. I'm a, I, I'm a nature girl. I love all nature. It kind of looks like squished broccoli. <laughs> all right, and then we have another little sachel. Sachel? Sachet. <laughs> I was in there. Oh, man. And we got all kinds of cuties in here. We got all kinds of different shaped. I want to say these are quartz, but they have like inclusions of other things in them. Rutilate? No, it's not. And then we have, oh, I'm not even in camera. I'm so sorry. We have this one, which is a little pyramid. We have the pyramid, and then we have this purpley. Is it? Yeah, it's like um the aura one like heat treated little guy right there. And then we have these, which I'm not sure if they're just quartz or if they're a certain kind, but we will look and see. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's like in there. And they all kind of like, this one has something too. And so is the little guy. And even the big guy has a little something, something in there too. So yeah, we're gonna read about what this is, but first we're gonna see what this big thing is in here. Styrofoam, my best friend. Oh, this is nice and easy. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. Let me see you. You got it. You got this. Ah. All right. Move that guy out of the way. So you 
guys can see as I see. Get the hell out of here. What? What is this? Oh my god. <laughs> is that an upside down skull? What the fuck, guy? Oh my god. My girl told me, she's like, when you see what it is. <gasps> This is so up my freaking alley. Thank you so much, Christy and Dina. Oh my God. Where am I going to put you? You're so beautiful. Oh my God. This is so freaking me. I love this. I love this so freaking much. Have you guys seen this? Oh my God. With the skull and it has little things. Oh, this would be so cool outside too, but I don't trust it outside, especially with the way it's been so windy. My wind chime, not my, not my magical wind chime, but I had a hummingbird wind chime out there since two years ago. It's been there for the last two years, so I guess it's held up pretty good. I just found a couple of the hummingbirds on the floor, and I'm like, no, <laughs> from all the wind. Down the rabbit hole, a gothic Ostara. I love it. Oh my God, I love it so much. Oh, this is what I needed today. Thank you. This month we celebrate a gothic Ostara, which is tomorrow, my friends. And travel down the rabbit hole to see what treasures are buried among the thorn roots and soil. Our star is also known as the spring equinox, is a pagan solar holiday honoring the spring's warmth, light from the sun and the awakening of the earth. All right, so I'm not going to read all that because we all know all the Ostaras. Symbols of Ostaras, spring flowers, seeds, fairies, butterflies, rabbits, eggs. Our other goddesses are Flora and Persephone. Colors of Ostara, white, purple, pastel tones, shades of green. Ways to celebrate. Decorate eggs. Bake bread. Arrange flowers. We hope you enjoy the March Midnight Muses Luke's box. Thank you for your business. Support our two women shop. And that's another thing. Like Christy and Dina, it's just two women doing this. It's amazing. I, I still, and my friends that are just our one woman shop, like June Mermaid and Gypsy, like I praise them because they have regular full time jobs too. And then they do this. And I'm just like, I don't know how y'all do it, but you do. And I'm grateful for it because I love it. Because <laughs> I love it. Start with a ritual bath or soak your feet. Uh, floral bath salts included in this month's box. Submerge yourself in the energy of Ostara. Or you could sprinkle some salts in your bath water. A tea bag can be used to keep the herbs from going down the drain. This blend contains Epsom salt, sea salt, dried lemon balm, and notes of orange blossom, tuberose, and sandalwood. And that was these right here. And they do smell amazing. Then we have our Midnight Bloom Incense, which I'll be honest, I'm not, this was like the only thing, oops, sorry, that I wasn't a fan of. It's just, it's just not my, it's not my jam. Um, it does say it's 100% natural using traditional incense recipes, a smooth blend of freshly extracted flower oil and natural wood powders to create a blissful scent with underlining notes of musk, earth, and floral, organic and vegan. It's just, I don't know why, it's just not hitting for me. But this smells delightful. And let's see, anoint your pulse points, ceremony. Trying to see what's in it. I want you to tell us. Ah. It is alcohol free. Organic almond oil from plants in the USA. All ingredients sourced also pledged to be vegan and cruelty free. Store in a cold, dry place, not in direct sunlight. Oh, the base notes. I went right by it. I was starting in the middle of the sentence, in the middle of the paragraph, and it was right on top. I'm sorry. This oil blends base notes are sandalwood, resin, and tuberose and orange blossom. So the same as the um, bath salts. So this smells really good. I have like three in my purse right now because I switch them all up. But they smell so good. And then when you use your favorite perfume on top of them, it just gives it to this like whole new level. Like you're smelling like a rich lady. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Then we have our white willow botanical. What? Oh, <laughs> like what? What? This right here stays. 
We have this, the willow tree is revered for its strength and flexibility, and we're also seen as a metaphor for the path of spiritual. Used to dress the beeswax candle before burning to boost psychic abilities and influence other magical properties include fertility and dreams. Keep white willow bark under your pillow to enchant dreams. Me and my daughter actually want to make um, dream pillows, so we're going to do that this weekend coming up. Since Then we have our hand-rolled beeswax candle believed to connect the physical world to the spell, spiritual realm. This candle has was hand-rolled for spells designed to increase your influence, confidence, and master in any situation. It promotes wisdom, knowledge, and confidence, so you can use these to your advantage. And this is organic. It smells so good. It kind of smells like those bath salts. <laughs> it does. It smells so good. Then we have, oh, and purple candle magic. This color is used to promote intuition, power, charisma, and to gain a mastery over a situation. Your girl needs to burn that. I should actually do something tonight before I go to work tomorrow. Because I don't know how I feel. That's another story. Anyway, we got moss. Moss used to decorate the mushroom skull statue or place in a shallow bowl with some crystals on your altar as an offering. Moss is some of the oldest organisms that are still in existence. Its energy is very grounded and can be used on your altar as decoration or in spells for renewal, resilience, and abundance. It's funny because I was when I saw this, I was like, oh, that'd be cool. Put some fresh moss around it. That'd be super cute. I love this so much. <laughs> Mushroom skull altar decor. We are so excited to be able to include this special offering in this month's box. Out of the spring soil blooms mushrooms and the matrix of a skull. A reminder that death is not the end. After the winter, there is always the promise of spring. As my father would say, energy doesn't die, it just changes forms. I love that. And this is made from cold cast resin and hand painted. So even if you wanted, I could change up some of these mushrooms, which honestly I might, even though I love all the purple, but I might paint a couple of different color ones. I'll leave the big ones nice, big purple ones. But yeah, I love that. Garden Quartz Crystal Chip Stones. Purple Aura Quartz. And then that's the Quartz Pyramid. And then it says, use the chip stones with the seed balm and the other crystals to decorate the moss included to decorate the moss included in this month's box. Included includes Garden Quartz Chip Stones, Purple Aura Quartz, and Quartz Pyramid. Quartz pyramids have a balancing effect, helping to cleanse and restore harmony within your space. When placed in your home, at work, or in a sacred space, crystal pyramids enchant focus, clarity, and every healing intention you set for yourself. Used to decorate your altar with the moss offering or by placing it on specific areas of the body or using it during energy healing sessions, which is said to facilitate healing, restore balance, and promote overall being that right on your third eye <laughs> um these are really cute i love that and of course we had those little chips too of quartz and then we have this awesome thing skull seed bomb metaphorically seeds have been used to describe abstract ideas and influences that grow in our minds and souls seeds represent ideas inspiration and potential they contain the complete blueprint <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Give me one sec. I don't know if that drink's helping me any. Ugh. Um, seeds are meant to spread. I lied. They contain the complete blueprint for the specific plant that they come from. Seeds are meant to spread and pr proliferate the parent plant carrying on generation after generation. All it takes is one seed, and over time, that seed can multiply itself infin infinitely. Increasing in number every season. We use magic to plant your intentions. As the plant grows, may your spell manifest. And I love that because my lilacs, I think I started off with maybe four or five my first year here. Last summer was my second summer here. And they multiplied and they grew like, they were almost taller than me. They were like almost six feet tall. And I'm like, I've never seen tiger lilies this big in my life. So I am very curious to see how tall they grow this year. I can't wait to share that with you guys. 
All right, and then we have our beautiful paper butterfly. Add to your Gothic Ostara altar, which my Gothic altar will be downstairs. I'll share that with you guys once I finish it tonight. Um, Goddess of Spring art print and our Gothic rabbit art print. All rights reserved. Do not duplicate. And then our intuitively drawn tarot card. Search for beginner's tarot on Sugar Muses if I wanted a more complete look. And look at bunny in the background so cute it's actually on this page too like she literally everything just like everything's purple and black like i just i just love the aesthetic this is so freaking cool thank you so much christy oh thank you so much for gifting this box to me i love it and i appreciate it and i appreciate you watching my videos i just think that's so cool when um creators tell me that they watch my videos it makes me so happy and yes just thank you thank you i love it all this was an amazing box i loved all three boxes this month <laughs> they all they all killed it just saying so yes um if you guys haven't already you need to check her out she also has like a boutique where you can like get little things like i when i first started before i even got my first box i did a little mini haul um last year at this time actually because it's my one year anniversary i'm just gonna say that all month of march because it is <laughs> back on youtube and i had bought my little besom from her and like some little crystals i have um a beautiful silver dish with all the astrological signs around it and then i have a silver um candle holder too from her um, but yeah, check her out. She has some amazing stuff on there and she hand makes a lot of stuff too. So it's awesome. But yeah, those rocks. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Much love to Christy and Dina. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you all my beautiful sisters and friends for watching and putting up with my antics. I appreciate it and being patient with me because yeah, you already know. So thank you all, I love you all, and until next video, spread some kindness, spread it all over. Peace, love, and stay sassy, my friends. Bye.